so a buffet walkthrough. We had two different types of sausages. We had a couple pastas. We had some cooked zucchini. We had some meatloaf. We had some mashed potatoes. We had some green beans. We had some pot roast. We had some cheese sauce. We had some steamed broccoli. We then had some pizza. We had some steak. We had some mushrooms, some roasted peppers and onions. We had different kind of potato dishes, some cabbage, some corn. We had um, some uh, baked chicken. We had some beans. We had some bourbon chicken. We had some uh, little ribs. We had some onion rings. We had some ham. We had some carrots. We had some baked fish. We had some fried fish. We had the, some collard greens, some different rices. We had some fried chicken. Then we had some limited items such as like a orange chicken, they called it a specialty item. We had some uh, buffalo chicken wings and some other little chicken strip pieces. We had some deep fried scallops. We had then their salad bar featuring some pre-made salads. We had kind of then the make your own items such as peppers, uh, different dressings, carrots, lettuces, etc. So if you're not hungry yet, well you are about to be. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are here at the Golden Corral, my favorite, yes, my favorite buffet chain, my favorite kind of national chain restaurant. Um, why? Because the Golden Corral, listen, when it's good, it is good. When it's not good, it's not good, let's be honest. But let's say I've been to Golden Corral, I don't know, let's say 50 times, and 45, no, 47 of those have been good or great. I have had two or three times which it has not been great, but both two of those were actually at like the same location, so it's just a location thing. And then again, once or twice, it's been mediocre, but nonetheless. So what we're starting out with, um, I am starting off with some salads, and then George, my good friend, uh, if you're not familiar with George, great guy. He's just crushing some meatloaf, some steak, I think some chicken, some green beans. He's getting into all the great classics. I always like to start with a salad. I really love vegetables, and believe it or not, vegetables, like fresh veggies, are a very high ticket item. So I enjoy them when I go out. Um, generally, like I did on this plate, a whole bunch of green peppers, one of my favorite vegetables. Let me know your favorite vegetable down below. And I covered it with some coleslaw and kind of used that as a bit of a dressing and everything. Then we dove into this plate here. I had these fried like mushrooms or whatever they were. Man, I've never had mushrooms at Golden Corral. Amazing, really enjoyed them. They were fresh. Had this rib, amazing. It was fresh. So this is at the uh, like Erie, Pennsylvania uh, location of Golden Corral. And we've been here before where it's been on point. We've been here before where it has been very mediocre. This was on point. The catfish was fresh. I love that cornmeal batter they put on it. So it's juicy, succulent, just that light white fish on the inside. That lovely kind of uh, spiced cornmeal batter. Of course, I love it with a little bit of ketchup and some hot sauce. The ketchup gives it that nice sweetness. The hot sauce gives a little extra salt, a little bit of zip. Of course, I also generally enjoy a uh, little bit spicier hot sauce than Texas P. But, you know, hey, if you like Texas P, let me know what you think. And that it's not bad, that's for sure. Definitely one of the standards that Golden Corral has. So George just continued to crush some good plates. I think he got some chicken on this and really pies and he was going hard. He just kind of hit it. I was recording everything and he wasn't going to eat as much as I was this day. He was just kind of taking it casually, whereas I wanted to hit it hard and use it like a training session, I guess you could really say. So of course I had some salads. They had beets here. I like beets. Pickled beets are great. Again, green beans, my, or uh, sorry, green peppers, one of my favorite vegetables. I use the coleslaw as a dressing. I could add more, but I like to eat my food. Whereas if I use like a lot of calorie ridden dressings, then I'm not getting to eat as much and I'm consuming a lot more calories. Believe it or not, I really do promote not overeating. Um, I never recommend doing what I do. And I definitely always recommend eating your vegetables, you know, and not always choosing calorie laden options. Now, when it came to this other plate, you know, like we had meatloaf, um, we had some pulled pork. Uh, this is definitely a bit more of a calorie laden plate, even if it's a pot roast. But diving back into that rib, like the first one, and it was good. Like I said, it was fresh. We had that lovely little bit of barbecue sauce kind of baked and caramelized on it. Now these ribs are not smoked, I wish they were, but nonetheless. Um, I also had some fried peppers and onions, which were incredibly oily, but weren't too bad. But those mushrooms, I, I think my first time having mushrooms Golden Corral, and definitely will not be my last. Like I said, I love that. Pulled pork can be all right um, at Golden Corral. They usually have two kinds. Sometimes it's just like 
covered in sauce and it I'm not a big fan of that but when they have it without the sauce usually it's pretty good and actually some of it's even smoked or supposed to be smoked uh, the pot roast is always on point and this meatloaf was on point today so next I hit up some cooked vegetables. I like their green beans a lot. Their green beans are good. They're like porky southern style green beans, with some broccoli. And look at the size of this freaking chicken breast. This was massive, like huge. There you go, mouth my words. But this was awesome. The fried chicken was nice and crispy as well. And then I had these lovely mushrooms, like I said, I was digging, man, I was loving those mushrooms. They were almost cooked in like a bit of like a soy or something. It was definitely salty, um, the mushrooms, which I just loved. Of course, I threw a little bit of salt on that broccoli. The broccoli, which they do here, is just straight steamed broccoli, which I appreciate. It's not lathered in butter. It's no extra calories on it. It is just steamed broccoli. So I like it with a little bit of salt. Green beans definitely don't need the salt. Um, they, again, are cooked in that kind of brine with a little bit of ham. But again, the way they do it, at least according to the sign, very low calorie still and a great option for someone like myself who just likes to eat volume. Like I just love to eat. I really, really do. So to have this extra volume, you know, that I can eat more of and basically be incredibly low in calories, that's why, like, one of the reasons why I love vegetables. And I don't know if I've just learned to like them because um, I didn't really when I was a kid, but I've learned to like them for whatever reason. I love them. That's my palate. My palate loves vegetables. And of course I got some sweet tea. I'm all about that sweet tea. One of my favorite things when I'm in America to drink sweet tea. Technically I drink the unsweet tea, but I digress. I also had a little bit of the uh, bourbon chicken. The bourbon chicken is another kind of, a lot of people's staple here at Golden Crow. It's pretty good. It is a kind of soy sweet, very salty chicken. Um, I would say it kind of reminds me of some items you may see at like a uh, Asian kind of style buffet with that soy flavor. Again, the mushrooms were great and this chicken was great. It was so crispy, it was fresh. I'm not like the biggest skin person on fried chicken, but there are times where you just, oh my gosh, like you gotta have it. And this was one of those times, just how crispy it was, that batter, that crunch, that nice saltiness, the, just the combination of that juicy chicken with that savory, savory kind of just lovely, crispy, crunchy, oh, just so, so, so good. And again, all about that ketchup and hot sauce action and just the, like, I didn't have the mic on, but if you could hear these crunches, it was 3D, 4D, 5D. That's what I'm saying with my hands. It is just so crunchy. And actually, let me know uh, what you think of this uh, kind of buffet style video. Do you prefer just the straight voiceover or do you like you know, me including the natural commentary where I actually also share with you, show you the food and eat it in real time? Let me know down below. Going to this next round, I already knew what I liked, but I wanted to try a few other things. So I got actually a little bit of steak to try. Normally not a big fan of the steak, but they were doing it fresh. Um, then I got some pot roast. I also got some ribs, which big ribs this time before I just kind of at the ends. Green beans, broccoli. Um, George at this point had literally probably had but whereas this was maybe like my third round of plates, he had like five. Uh, he kind of hit it real hard. Yeah, I, it took me a while to set up my camera and stuff, so he already had dessert. He was good to go. Um, but yeah, diving on in, guys. Again, I love my vegetables. Um, so, of course, the pot roast actually normally has the vegetables, which what you see there being like the celery. Usually it's potatoes and carrots. And it's just all cooked in this nice kind of light gravy. But, man, it is tender and a great flavor. And the pot roast is usually an item which Golden Corral does not ever mess up or like rarely, very, very rarely, because it just kind of sits in that nice warm gravy. You know, even if it's not super, super, super fresh, it is generally always good. Um, and again, one of my, I'd say, top picks at Golden Corral. Let me know a couple of top picks that you have at Golden Corral down below. Now, unlike the pot roast, the steak is normally pretty hit or miss for me. I'm not going to lie. And like I said, I rarely get it because usually it's pretty mediocre. It is a definitely a cheaper cut they use, a tougher cut. But this was cooked properly. And, you know, it was okay. You know, I put a bit of, I had to put a little bit of salt and pepper on it. I don't think they put any seasoning on it. Like I said, it was okay. I think it's supposed to be a um, sirloin of some sort. But it's just it's okay when it's good it's good but i was excited to try these ribs because previously the other ones we had were great so these pork ribs were a st louis style so like the side ribs and like i said wow they were a big rib this is a very big rack i do like me some big racks and just like the first ones it was good it was cooked perfectly super tender nice and fresh i will even eat the little cartilage bits at the end some people call them the tips 
man, I love that crunch, the cartilage. I love the flavor. And like I said, the way that sauce, they sauce them and bacon was just kind of caramelized on there. It was no complaints from Joel. So now remember I said I was going to go a little hard. Well, this is where it just kind of gets a little silly. And let's talk about all these new items and, of course, some of the same items I was trying. So it was a limited time item. They actually had buffalo chicken wings, which I thought were cool. So I had some chicken wings. Of course, I had some lovely catfish. I actually had some also orange chicken to try. But starting with the, the buffalo chicken wing, honestly, it was good. It was a good wing. I mean, it was not breaded, um, but it was sauced. It was cooked perfectly. It was tender. How can I complain? Like, really, you just can't. It was a solid wing. This is what they call orange chicken. So it's these super, super, super small, crispy, battered bits in kind of an orange sauce. A little bit of ginger in there as well. Again, it wasn't bad. It was very reasonable. I had my vegetable plate with my favorite green peppers. I had some uh, pickled beets as well. I had some coleslaw. Again, it's kind of what I use as a little bit of a dressing sometimes or a bit of a flavor. Sometimes I'll use cocktail sauce or um, you know, some kind of warm vegetable or a red salsa or some kind of salsa or something. Again, lighter in calories is a bit of a dressing. This was just perfect enough as is, and I was very thankful to have it. And then, of course, diving on back to those ribs. Well, we already talked about the ribs. I already talked about the unsweet tea. But, man, I said those ribs were still fire, whatever they had. And, again, the rib is not an item which normally I would say is a sure go at Golden Corral. I think more often than not, I find the ribs being pretty mediocre. But, man, they were good. Like I said, this place was just on point tonight. Now, this catfish wasn't bad this time. I think the first time was a little fresher. So, they definitely needed a little bit of a retouch i guess you could say but with a little bit of hot sauce and i mean let's be honest even at this point it was still like at least warm might not have been hot or like five minutes fresh but it was good you know this piece of fried chicken it was definitely still solid but like i said i'm not the biggest skin person so like if a piece of uh you know batter or breading is not actually crispy like if it's soft or soggy or whatever it be i'm just it's not my favorite thing to eat so of course i was being a little more selective um you know in regards of all the batter i wanted to eat um, but the chicken was still solid it was again still salt like juicy and i think that's a big thing like it's the worst thing is dry fried chicken but a little bit of juicy chicken a little bit of sauce goes a long way so this was new, but definitely a staple for me at the Golden Corral is their fruit, specifically the pineapple. Pineapple is my favorite kind of fruit, and just like the vegetables, I love them, enjoy them. They're generally quite healthy for you, in moderation, of course, and uh, they just taste delicious. I'd rather probably eat a good pineapple than 90% of desserts any day. A little bit more of that kind of orange chicken, um, which, again, essentially was more, like, these pieces were a lot meatier than the other ones, so it was kind of fried chicken, solid, some more ribs. I then had some cantaloupe, which was okay, um, but like I said, when it came to that pineapple, oh, I knew it was going to be good. I love pineapple, but I'll just sit back and you can watch me enjoy this one. So as I had more than enough rich foods, at least for the moment, I started diving into a little bit of dessert. I had some of their coconut cream pie, which is for like a commercial coconut cream pie. Obviously, it's not made here. It definitely comes in frozen, etc. It's honestly not too bad. The pineapple was good. I love pineapple, so of course I got a little bit more of that. Um, let me know your favorite fruit down below. Like I said, pineapple, oof, when it is ripe, it is so, so, so good. Then this coconut cream pie, it kind of has a little bit of a, well, like the top is kind of a whipped cream, um, almost like a marshmallowy meringue in a way, but you know, it's still kind of like a almost foamy whipped cream. Um, the bottom is almost like a little bit of a gelatinous uh, kind of cream aspect, not super strong coconut flavor, but like I said, for like a commercial boxed coconut cream pie, it's really solid. 
So remember I said today I was being a little silly? Well, let's just say I went for a little more coconut cream pie because I was feeling it. I was digging it. And then I got a little bit of their banana pudding. That's what I got in the little ramekin there. Um, which their banana pudding is generally really actually pretty dang good. It can be really, really good at least. The way they make it, when it, if it comes out fresh and it's not like sitting there for too long, it's very airy and it has real bananas in it. It is always very sweet, but like I said, when it's fresh and not overly beaten, it's good. So at this point, we've been eating for at least an hour and a half. Or actually, I've been eating for at least an hour and a half. George probably stopped around 40 minutes or so. Um, so I just kind of got the last I was feeling. I was very, very, very full, and I definitely didn't need any more. I had way more than I should have. But I dove on into last piece of coconut cream pie. I got some ice cream with the hot caramel, which was kind of melting the ice cream. But man, that stuff is sweet, but it is good. I do like a caramel on an ice cream. I think a hot caramel, or even, well, it doesn't have to be hot, but a nice caramel, caramel, whatever you pronounce it, on a uh, cold ice cream is just absolutely delicious. It just makes it sweeter. It adds that burnt sugar aspect. Even though I find Golden Corral soft serve generally not very good, I find it quite icy. Um, I mean, that was pretty dang good. And even compared to the sweetness of that uh, banana, cr uh, banana cream pie, both those very sweet, very good ways to finish. But everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely that was enough food for today. And uh, let me know what you thought about this down below. So till next time, everybody, I appreciate you. And of course, till next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.